begin with that breaking news. Police just made an arrest in connection with the stabbing of two children in Brooklyn. Here's the photo of the man police were searching for. Daniel St. Hubert was captured minutes after the NYPD released his photo to the public. TV 1055's Dave Carlin is live in Lower Manhattan with more on the arrest tonight for us. Dave. Dick and Alice, here it is. The photos, the flyer of Daniel St. Hubert, the man wanted for these child stabbings in that Brooklyn elevator. Let's show you 1PP. This is where we are because as this arrest was going down, what we had was a news conference right here. And what it was, was the police commissioner and the mayor releasing those photos and telling us more about this suspect. And they were wrapping it up, releasing these two photos of St. Hubert when the arrest happened. Now, he is 27 years old with nine prior cases, including assault on an officer and domestic violence. He was out on parole after being released from prison May 23rd. Investigators said that significant progress came from quick DNA analysis of a sample taken from a knife otherwise known as the murder weapon. They got the DNA, matched it to St. Hubert. The attack happened Sunday inside an elevator in East New York's Boulevard houses. Six-year-old Prince Joshua P.J. Avito stabbed to death, also stabbed his friend, seven-year-old Michaela Capers, who was fighting for her life. Now, there was an, a reward for information leading to this arrest, and that reward was $62,000. What is not known right now is if we had an anonymous tip or a tip from the public that led to this arrest, but the good news here is there is a man in custody for this heinous crime. Live outside One Police Plaza, Dave Carlin, TV 1055. All right, and Dave will stay right on top of the story and have much more on CBS 2 News at 11. The family, family of Prince Joshua Avito has announced that his funeral will be held Friday morning at the St. Paul Community Baptist Church in Brooklyn.